Hello everyone, welcome to Bargain Gaming, where we can play excellent games, excellent games without busting our wallets. So we are currently being asked to to tan leather, right? So can we take these? Wow, we can take these. Okay, use the tanning rack. And we are, we can turn them into leather, right? Uh, you can bring the leather to our work. Iron it. Ah, good. A lot of weapons and armor need leather for straps, fittings, that kind of thing. Let's see if you can make a hide helmet. Here's the rest of what you need. Until next time. Okay, I think he says do it on the table or something. Uh, choose an item to create. What are we supposed to do? I think, uh, what are we supposed to do? A uh, quest? I think under the missile, a craft a hide helmet. Okay. Hide. Hide helmet. Okay, where is Alvaro? I could forge you a. Huh. I should hire you to be my assistant at this rate. Let's improve the fit. Take this leather to the workbench over there. Until next time. Okay, this is the workbench. Use workbenches to improve armor. All improvements require materials. The amount of improvement depends on your smithing skill. Uh, hide helmet. Oh, it requires leather. You iron or steel, you have talent. Keep working at your craft, and you'll be a fine smith one day. Why don't you keep that dagger and helmet? Maybe you'll remember me when you're making Skyforge steel, huh? Okay, so we finally learned something. I... And I think we can pick this one up, right? You the so... sneaky type? Got some nice... Iron boots, uh, huh. And you know what? Should we uh, use our grindstone and I think improve our war axe? Huh. Well, it requires iron ingots. Okay, uh, we have, so we've done some smithing. We're now familiar with what smithing is all about. To a certain extent, not really, not really that well. Uh, there's another thing that we need to talk to this guy. I think there is a, this archer over here. Riverwood's agreeable. There's beauty here unmatched in all of Skyrim to be sure. See, what's your problem with Sven? He's a bard. So he says. Occasionally, he finds time to do his job here at the mill. Thinks his ballads and sonnets are going to convince Camilla Valerius to marry him. As if she would say yes. An intelligent, beautiful woman like her wouldn't fall for that nonsense. I hope. I've been thinking. 
Maybe Camilla needs a little help seeing Sven for what he is. Could you... Could you give her this letter and say it's from Sven? I think I've matched that Nord's lack of cleverness perfectly. Okay. Good day. So let's exit. Uh, okay, let us give this... See, the reason is we will do this live for him and he becomes our follower. And he is an archer, so it is... Uh, we with him as our follower we can go adventuring and then we will just keep our shield up and then he will take let him take the heat where is that lady is it's this Mara one? Yeah. bless you for agreeing to help us you're not from around here that makes I, two of us I have a letter for you from Zven another poem I bet he does know how to make a girl blush what's this if that oaf thinks all I'm going to do is stay in that filthy house of his and clean, I'll... You can tell Sven that he already has a mother. I'm not speaking to him anymore. Good luck. Oh. Lucan and I will be waiting for you back in the shop. Okay. <laughs> so we're doing something not nice. But then we need... We need... Find doll to help us. Okay. Hey man, we help you. Riverwood's agreeable enough, I suppose. For a Nord. I appreciate your help. Please take this. Some gold I've saved up from working at the mill. Okay, so let's say, see, follow me. I need your help. Lead the way. And then, how much gold do we have now? Uh, what did he pay us in gold? Oh, we have 300 gold now, huh? That is nice. And we are supposed to do a quest that... Hold on. Uh, we're going to supposed to go up to Bleak Barrow or something? Yeah, this one. And this one helps us because it gives us, in our compass, it shows us where the general direction where we need to go. Uh, let us go check our map. So Bleak Barrow is up here. So with him following us, let's see if we can go up there and uh, start to do, uh, or I think we have to go around on the other side. So this is our first dungeon ever, and uh, we'll see how we do. Let's go back to flames on the right hand side. Hold on, uh, I think for our items, we better put on our... Yes, so we can, we have more mana. Oh, 
What if we go sneak? Sneak mode. So our sneak mode is not very high at this point in time, so maybe it's more about speed than anything else. Okay, now we need to heal ourselves. Back to flames. Oh, we did not uh, put on the sparks. Actually, sparks is good for us. Uh, I mean... Because we need sparks also. Uh, is that destruction? Yeah, we need sparks. Uh, I think the favorite. Because sparks is a... Uh, what do you call this? Is a... Oh. I guess it's not. I thought it would be. I thought it would be a uh, range game. They're all they're all touched. I mean, wow, we're getting heavy. Or is the guy that was up here? Okay, I guess it's makes sense for us to go back to town and dump all the stuff that we just picked up because we're getting heavy oh that is a, one of the things that I, I go cast your fancy magic someplace else uh, I hate this uh, weight issue we always will have a weight issue in this game and that's why we keep traveling back and forth back and forth because we keep have we have to keep selling the stuff. Don't let my sister do it. Some may call this junk. Me, I call them treasures. Like here, so let us sell... One of that. Uh huh. Steel war hammer, yeah, let's get steel dagger, yes, let's sell those and then the apparel. Mm-hmm. Hide helmet. Is it better than the oh yeah. 
Oh, iron armor. This is so heavy. Studded armor. I don't think we're going to wear this anytime soon. Hide bracers. Can we wear hide bracers? Okay, uh, yeah, we have five gauntlets. Oh, a bit of this and a bit of that. Okay. Uh, here we need... Yeah, we sell all of these. Till next time. Okay, let us uh, save this in in this save this save this game. And I remember there is a another reason why we wanted. Why we want Farandal to be friend why we wanted to be friends with this guy. So he's currently our follower, right? I've he is back. also he is also a trainer in archery so let me let's say i need to trade some things with you what do you want me to carry see it makes things available to us see he has a hunting bow iron dagger key to farandal's home so what happens is that we can ask him can you train me to be better in at archery? I'll show you what I know. And it will cost us 200 gold, right? So with every person who is higher level than us, uh, they can train us five times every level we go up. Train this. So we can ask him, it costs us this time to cost us 200. We have 600 gold. So we ask him to train, yes. Cost us 210, yes. 220, yes. Okay, then we go exit. And then let's say I need to trade what do you want some things with you. And there's the gold, which we can take back. So, you and lead, then... We need to go back to, we have leveled up, right? So we can now improve what? What do we want to improve? Our magicka, our health, or our stamina? I guess uh, for now, uh, we should improve our health a bit. One ten, and then on the perk side, we should improve our destruction. So uh, here we use the left stick to navigate from the different uh, areas, like this, and then to actually go up to the to the perk up on the left stick and novice so cast novice level destruction spells for half magicka okay we want to do that so now if we look at our magicka and then we look at destruction flames cost six it used to be 13. Uh, sparks cost eight it used to be 15 or yeah it used to be 15 so the nice thing about sparks it also does eight point of shock damage to health and magicka per second 
and it I think it stuns also. I I I think it also stuns. So I can't remember, but for now let's just work with flame. Oh wait, I thought as we level up, eight points of damage, eight points of damage. I thought as we get better, let's look at our skills. As I thought as we get better, we actually do more damage. Apprentice Destruction. Oh, Apprentice Spells. How about this one? Dual casting a destruction spell overcharges spells into an even more powerful version. Shock Spells do 25% more damage. 25% more. Augmented Flames do... Oh, Fire Spells. Oh, yes, 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 yes. Okay, so by half the cost of mana, it automatically makes our spells more... It's like we have now twice the mana, right? Because it's half the mana be than before. What if we do another novice one? What happens if we... Ah, no, that is... That's only one point, so... Okay, also one point here. See, unlike uh, in the if flames, we can actually invest two points here, and then it will increase it by 25 more damage, 25%. Intense flame, fire damage causes targets to flee if their health is low. Okay. Okay. And the other one is archery. Uh, we have trained three levels. Oh, okay, because we're now level two i think we can train with him again still here i'll show you what i know see we can meet we can train again and then uh i need to trade some things what with you want you? me to carry this is a a uh Glitch that I'll show you what I know. This is a glitch that we can take advantage of, but only up to as high as he can what teach us. Because he can only be, he can teach us. I think he is journeyman. So I think once we hit apprentice, he cannot teach us anymore. Uh, can you train me better I'll at show archery? You what I know. Oh, he can train us one more time. Be you must level up to train again. So let's take what the money back from him. <laughs> I guess that's it. We can... Uh, but right, right now he is uh, a guy that will be helping us. Okay, and nighttime is the best time to go out so that uh, I hope our. You know, we, we need to find a guard or somebody that is uh, i think i will try to practice our sneak and uh, back to uh white run and then see if there's a guard that is stationary and then i will be uh, practicing behind him walking back and forth or walking against the wall and that way it will improve our stealth skill our sneak skill but again, we cannot go too much on just one skill because then that means, yeah, uh, since all the mobs level up with us, uh, we are going, we're asking for trouble. Anyway, okay, uh, our timer just went off, so let me uh, cut the, this would be a good place to cut the episode right here. 
thank you guys for joining me. I hope you will join me in the next episode. Bye.